In this module, we shall look at an application of istisna in the form of a structure which is proposed by Mizan Bank. Is structure may Mizan Bank khud property develop karke usko bechke fayda uthana chahta hai. Of course, Islamic Bank, Mizan Bank property developer to nahi hai. It will have to enter into an istisna agreement with a property development company. So, Mizan Bank wants to develop a commercial property. Mizan Bank enters into an istisna agreement with a developer. Okay, so this is quite obvious. It also enters into an agency agreement. Wakala agreement with the developers so that pursuant to this Wakala agreement, the developer actually sells the developed property on in the market. So, this Wakala agreement is there as well. The, at the end, the transaction gets concluded once the property is developed and sold. This seems like a very simple structure based on istisna in which a bank would like to develop a property to sell it on in the market to earn some genuine Sharia compliant profit. Right. This is how the transaction would take place. Mizan Bank, we are using here the example of Mizan Bank because it was proposed by Mizan Bank. Otherwise, any Islamic bank can actually use this structure for property development and property selling. So, it's a very genuine, real economy structure. So, Mizan Bank enters into an istisna agreement with a developer, property developer. At the same time, it appoints this developer as its sales agent. So, this is the start of the structure. Now, the developer of course is responsible for developing the project. It could be a 30 story commercial building on I. I. Chundrigar Road or it could be another com commercial complex in Islamabad. So, whatever be the case, so the developer actually develops this property and Mizan Bank finances this development by way of progressive payments to the developer as per the istisna agreement between the developer and the bank. Okay. Remember, there is an istisna agreement between the bank and the developer and there is an agency agreement. Say after one year, one and a half years, whatever was the agreement between the bank and the developer, the property is developed. And then the agent, sales agent, which happens to be the developer, it sells that property to the end users. Of course, the way the things happen, the properties are actually sold even during the construction period as well. So, the bank would benefit from the value creation by this property development minus the agency cost which the developer would receive as a sales agent of Mizan Bank and of course minus the construction cost as per the istisna agreement between the two parties i.e. in this case Mizan Bank and developer. This is a simple finance structure which can be used by any Islamic bank. Although we are using the example of Mizan Bank, but in many jurisdictions, retail banks are not allowed to enter into real economic activities like property development and so on. So, it is quite possible that in this case, Mizan Bank has done this structure with the help of a subsidiary which was allowed to do investments 
like this one. So this is a simple structure. However, this has very is interesting implications for property development in a Sharia compliant way.